Hi, today I wanted to talk about my journey on YouTube. Uh, since it has been six months ago that I've posted my first YouTube video. Um, so I thought it would be nice to um, evaluate on this whole thing. So, um, I have a few things, four things I really like and four things I should work on, I think. And let's start with the four things I like. Well, the first thing is, is that I even started this YouTube channel. Because if you have seen my first YouTube video, it was about the inner critic and how I was telling myself not to start anything so out of my comfort zone. Uh, but I did it and I've kept doing it for six months and I'm actually proud of it. Uh, the other thing is what I really like is the video quality. I think the Sony a7 III does a very good job and I have been experimenting with different kind of uh, settings on the camera uh, but also in Final Cut Pro, the program I use. And uh, throughout the video, all the videos on YouTube, you see it changes a lot but that's because I'm experimenting, I'm trying new things and that's what I really like. So video quality with the Sony a7 III is very good. I also use the Sony a7 uh, for my girlfriend now and then. Um, and that's just not very good for video. For photos it's great but not for video. And this camera right on the tripod right now is doing very good. So the third thing is audio quality. Before I started the this YouTube channel, I bought one thing, and that's this little Rode uh, mic. And I really like it. Maybe it's not the best, but it's not too expensive, and it gives me great audio quality, instead of the inner um, uh, mic of the camera. Uh, I also use a podcasting microphone, which I also use for the podcast, and sometimes I uh, create some voiceovers for the videos, and I record them with that mic. So that was the, uh, the third audio quality. And the last one um, is, I think my B-roll is pretty okay. Um, maybe it's because I'm a photographer, it goes more automatically, but um, being creatively with some subjects in front of um, uh, the, the camera, uh, is something I really like. So yeah, I think B-roll is pretty uh, pretty nice. So those were four things I liked and I'm happy with. And also I have four things I want to improve on. And the first thing is speed. Well, I think I speak faster than in the beginning, but maybe especially in the mornings, I'm a little bit tired, um, still have to wake up, and my speed is very slow sometimes and maybe a little little bit monotone um, and I think I can work on it but in my last video um, it already improved uh, it was my feeling so yeah still working on that the other thing is English in my normal daily life I speak only Dutch never English so um, I can still improve on this um, because I want to have some deeper conversations, some deeper subjects uh, which I want to tell about on YouTube. But when my English isn't that good, um, I have problems finding these deeper uh, subjects and talk more about it in depth. Um, so yeah, I want to improve on it, but one thing is working. <laughs> it is a little bit improving because I'm doing this YouTube channel. So that's very good. The third thing is I should sometimes talk more briefly um, because I can waffle on about a subject uh, uh, a bit longer um, and that's not always good for a YouTube video. Sometimes it is but sometimes it isn't. And um, and often I've be like this. This is what happens right now. I'm searching for words. So that's a combination of my English, my speed, and also to talk more briefly. Um, in voice over videos, it's pretty good because I am um, writing a script 
writing the text before I talk to the microphone. But I don't do this all the time when I'm shooting a video like this because I'm in camera. I can't read all the time um, and speak into the camera. That's not a very normal thing to do. So talk more briefly was the third thing. Um, and the fourth one is maybe better content. And I can be quite hard on myself sometimes, but I want to do more with the content I'm producing right now. Um, so that's something I want to work on. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with how things work out. So yeah, that's a little update on my YouTube channel and also uh, you might like an update on the business side of a landscape photographer. Well, I can be very honest with you. I'm selling a few photos sometimes to companies or uh, people who buy prints, um, but mainly that's it. I can be very honest about this. Um, I also have a design a freelance job uh, right now, which I also really like, um, but the, the photography isn't getting much money. But I actually don't care about that too much uh, because I want to have fun in creating things. Well, well, it's not always fun, but most of the time it is when I'm outside. Um, so yeah, and I'm also working on a podcast and some other projects I'm still working on and they have to do with video and photography. And I like to find uh, new things uh, which I didn't knew I had in me and that's that's well the time is right now to do that i'm also into writing uh, fiction a little bit right now um, so i can experiment with things and do photography and do design so yeah that's pretty cool so that was the business side um, yeah, and something about subscribers i'm not aiming for a lot of new subscribers uh, you can do a lot to achieve that i'm just creating content and that's it. There was one boost at the beginning because uh, Thomas Heathen, thanks Thomas, um, uh, suggested my video at the end of his video. So that generated a lot of new viewers and new subscribers. So that was pretty cool and nice to see he liked my videos. So yeah, that's cool. And I liked one video from my YouTube channel uh, a lot and that's because it's very personal and it's the video why I am a landscape photographer. Um, because I tell about burnout and my journey and how I got here and how I can uh, do the things I want to do right now. And I created this video with first the text, then the voiceover, and after that I went out with the dog and the camera and just shot just B-roll. And that was a pretty fun process, so I might do that uh, more in the future. Um, but yeah, those were a few things I liked, a few things I want to improve on, and some highlights from my uh, uh, YouTube channel. Um, and uh, well, I'll see you next time in uh, nature again. Bye.